Hey, Mark. Um, what's now that what's it like when you guys have been together? I mean, obviously, Eric, you don't have AC anymore, but the other four of you have been together for three years. What, what's it like to have that kind of continuity in the NFL? Yeah, it's it's unreal. You know, just have the opportunity to have the same guys together and, um, you know, just be able to keep working and, and, and trust one another and, and grow as a group. Um, you know, we still find ways to learn from one another and uh, make it interesting. We still able to use, you know, the same jokes and still laugh and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty funny to be together for this long, but, you know, we're just working and, you know, just like I would say every year, you know, you're working on the same blocks and everything, but you just find another way to get better at those and, and learn from, you know, you can just keep developing new ways to, uh, to, to do your job. I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool to be able to be with all those guys for that long. Uh, JJ. Hey Mark, how do you think that continuity helps when you, you don't have continuity at the quarterback position and now you're on your fourth starter here in four years. How do you think that helps the quarterbacks get acclimated maybe quicker? Yeah, it takes a little uh, stress off them. They can just focus in on what they have to do. And, you know, we, we can help them along the way if, if there's anything on our part that we can help them with or just com the communication that we do. If we, you know, us being on the same page is uh, relieving for him. So we've had somebody new almost every year. So. I think we kind of understand it and it's easier for us, but I don't know how it is on their side, but I feel like we at least relieve, relieve them on our side of the ball. Zach Keeper. Mark, um, we know what kind of player AC was on the field. You know, one of the more underappreciated guys. Um, what did you guys lose when he retired off the field in terms of what he brought to your room? Um, a lot. There's a lot that off the field, you know, he's, He's been, a, he's a part of a lot of different charities and stuff when he was here. And uh, yeah, the, the intelligence wise, the things that he knows and would bring to the table, um, just that uh, he, he's been around for so long. So for him to be able to bring in older players from uh, previous years to help us out, or just we would go on dinners and somebody would from the past would show up and would be able to give knowledge or just have a good time with those guys. So having somebody like that around, there's there's endless things that we would never be bored with him. So. Uh, Steven Holder. Hey, Mark. Um, you've been in the league for a while now, but um, last season, <clears throat> excuse me, last off season and this off season obviously are, are going to be a lot different than the previous ones. Um, how, how will you personally kind of adjust in terms of what you do after this week and, you know, getting ready for training camp, what would that look like for you? Um, I'm, I'm pretty much going to do almost in this, in the regard the similar to what I did last year, you know, I have all the resources um, at the house. If I need to, to, to get my lifts and everything like that, um, work with, you know, a guy or two um, off the field, you know, within the rules or whatever they have us do. Um, but I think a lot of it comes down at this point is just keep working on mentally what needs to be done, watching film as well. Because if, if you're in the league that, this long, I'm assuming you're doing at least the, the physical things right. It's just making sure that you're doing the things mentally to prepare yourself for a camp. Um, and just, you know, just spend time just going over plays and um, just making sure you're ready, stay in condition. You know, if you're not in condition, then you're going to be drunk on the field. So just making sure you're right for that too. And and will will most of the the physical stuff you do will that just be just general working out, or or do you do a lot of like really specific football stuff too? Uh, yeah, I'm saying you're going to do all the specific stuff, yeah. everything that the gotcha. coaches and stuff would ask you to do um, on your own. But I'm saying you know a block. The only thing that really changes for us is the name of calls and stuff. We're pretty much blocking the same concepts, the same steps. So just going through that, if we do things on our own, uh, going through fundamentals, technique, um, just the basics, I don't know. To me, it's, you know, just working on the basics. Gotcha.